is Nikon D500. Today I'll be demonstrating how to clean the sensor of this camera. Nikon D500 has a crop uh, sensor size of 1.6x, but you'll be able to use a 1.6x, which is 16 millimeter swap size, or 1.3x, which is 20 millimeter swap size. Today I'll demonstrate how to do this. I'll uh, do the precautionary uh, procedures. Uh, make sure the battery is fully charged. Read the manual. Make sure also there is no con connection or communication between your camera and a smartphone in case uh, of accidental uh, shutter closure during swabbing. So um, I'll be using uh, Visible Dust products. Today I'll be using uh, Ultra MX D100, which is a green swab uh, from Visible Dust. It has a uh, microfiber type of fabric or a fabric which is compatible with both uh, alcohol and water-based cleaning solutions. Visible Dust has um, three different cleaning solutions. Uh, uh, one is uh, with blue cap which is called uh, V-Dust Plus. Uh, is alcohol-based uh, cleaning solution. The other two are water-based cleaning solution uh, with regular strength called uh, Sensor Clean. And the other one is uh, with extra strength called the smear away. Uh, sensor clean and smear away are both water based cleaning solutions. Uh, the difference between water based and alcohol based cleaning solutions are the following alcohol is very easy to. Uh, to work with. It evaporates fast. It doesn't create oversaturation, uh, but it's a poor uh, cleaning solution for organic material or stained saliva or anything organic in nature. And also it builds up static charges, so it magnifies, uh, magnetizes uh, uh, your sensor to attract even more dust after cleaning. Whereas water-based cleaning solutions are excellent for uh, saliva removal, dissolving any stain. Also, it removes a static charge built up on the sensor, so your sensor is less prone to attracting dust after the cleaning. Visible Dust also has two different uh, swap. Uh, one is a DHAP, which is orange, different fabric. Then one is green handle, which is M Ultra MXT 100, which has a, uh, a fabric which is compatible uh, with all three cleaning solutions with both water-based and uh, uh, alcohol-based. But the orange or DHAP only compatible with Redus Plus. So if you use water-based with the orange, you will restrict the sensor. So uh, also, uh, uh, Visible Dust has uh, uh, some device called uh, Curve Swab Handle with a string attached to it. This Curve Swab uh, gives a good dexterity to swabbing and it uh, makes it uh, very easy to swap with uh, basically consistent motion. So I always use uh, this uh, uh, curve swap handle uh, on uh, using uh, to clean the sensor. So it's, it's just a cavity, you insert the swap and it gives a curvature so but it when you enter the sensor so basically it goes in a vertical fashion all the way so you, you prevent any vertical uh, uh, line which is created uh, when you do not use the curve swap handle. So as you can see, let's focus inside the sensor. As you can see, there are uh, blue line, blue edges. Those are effective pixel area. The separation between effective pixel area and the sidewalk, which is circuitry or electronic, uh, etc. Those areas, electronic areas, has no effect on image quality. So whether you clean it or not, basically, uh, there's no uh, need uh, to clean it. So for this reason, uh, if you look at the 1.6x uh, or 16 millimeter, it only covers the effective pixel. But you have to make sure you don't go too far away from the edges so you have a balance, you stay in middle so you cover the effective pixel area which is inside the blue lines. If you use 
1.3x, which is uh, 20 millimeter, you can see it covers outside the effective pixel area, so also you're good to go as well. You clean the entire thing. And the advantage of superiority of the visible dust wall, which has a worldwide patent, is triangular shape, which you can go inside along the edges, whereas the square swap basically is uh, ineffective uh, to clean the edges, so makes it very hard to go along the edges. So let's start cleaning. So we start with 1.6x or 16 millimeter uh, swap size. We add uh, about two drops of sensor clean liquid and we allow about 10-15 seconds for calibration to take place. Enter horizontal on uh, inside the sensor, avoid uh, contact with the chamber area. Go along the edges all the way. Make sure you stay within the blue line which is the effective pixel area. If you go far off or far to the corner, you basically you clean the sidewalk so uh, for uh, with 1.6x or 16 millimeter you just have to stay within the boundary so once you went through one edge you exit in a horizontal fashion if you need to go to a second time uh, turn the swab 180 degrees reinsert it back so use the opposite face of the swap and so basically you continue doing the same thing so just make sure you go along that blue boundary so you don't uh, go on the sidewalk with the uh, 3x or 20 millimeter again you add two drop of liquid sensor clean you allow about 10-15 seconds you enter in horizontal fashion. You see, you can see that there is less uh, space to maneuver. So basically, you also clean the sidewalk as well. So you go one edge, you smoothly go to the opposite edge. With the help of curve swab, the swab stays uh, vertical at all time even when you get to the edge so that's the advantage of using curve swab handle it gives a professional cleaning look to your sensor cleaning so if you encounter saturation uh, or strict probably you oversaturated the fabric and in this case allow more time after adding liquid uh, probably more than 30 seconds or up to one minute but never draw, uh, use dry uh, swab on the sensor so this way you calibrate the uh, swabbing and also once you're done you can inspect it with quasar and just if the sensor is clean uh, basically you're done swabbing so if in case of uh, oversaturation or sticks you calibrate your swab and uh, you calibrate the amount of liquid you put on the swab so and then you never use dry swab swab always in the same direction you're done swabbing basically good luck thank you